Today we're going to talk about how to pot your orchid kokodama style. Kokodama is a Japanese word that means to pot in a moss ball. And I'm going to show you how to pot your orchid, specifically a Phalaenopsis orchid, so that the roots do not rot and the center of the kokodama stays nice and fresh. The first thing that you'll want to do is to unpot your orchid. So you'll work it out of the pot and you'll clean off the roots and if you have any dead roots, any roots that are rotted, you'll just trim them off. So I've already done that. Remember that when you trim off any rotted roots that you'll want to sterilize your shears. So I like these shears right here and I just use this butane kitchen torch and I just pass the shear tips through the flame for about 20 seconds and this will help you to not spread any pathogens between orchids. Help keep your orchids healthy, virus free, bacterial and fungal free. So, and bugs in general. Anyway, this is my secret weapon. Most people use an orchid mix for the center. And this is just a net bag. So you could use a bag that lemons or garlic or some sort of produce comes in and then just fill it with a scoop of potting mix for orchids. And then you would just wrap the roots around this. When I do it, I use something different. I use a pickleball or a wiffle ball. And the reason I like the wiffle ball or the pickleball is because it's free draining and it's not going to rot and it will just make it so that the center of your kokodama stays drier and it just will never rot. Another reason is that you can attach this is just a keychain, but you could also use a carabiner and you just snap it on like that. And then you have something to hang it by and it's just that easy. So to get started, just put the orchid right here, wrap the roots around the wiffle ball. And you have your sphagnum moss that you've pre-soaked in water. And when you wrap the sphagnum moss around the kokodama, you want to be sure that you don't squeeze it out. You want to, you want the moss to be nice and loose. So I'm just holding this keychain up with my thumb so it stays up near the top. And then I'm just going to loosely wrap it. And when you buy sphagnum moss, make sure that you get long fibered, typically New Zealand sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss has, is slightly acidic and it has some antibacterial properties. It also absorbs fertilizer salts. So one thing you can do to help leach the salts out of your kokodama after you've been using fertilizer for a few months is to soak the whole kokodama in some distilled water and that will leach the salts away. You do want to repot your kokodama every year or two, but in between you can leach the salts using distilled water. And the sphagnum moss does break down over time. So you'll just want to gently cover the roots with the moss. Now typically what I use to secure the moss to the orchid is clear fishing string. But because I want to show you how it looks, I'm just going to use some red string here. And you just want to rotate it around so that you can uh, form a nice sphere shape. And 
and just keep. Nothing here is tight. Everything is nice and loose. Well, maybe a better way to say is secure, but not tight. And you just keep wrapping it. If you have roots that don't get completely covered, that's okay. Orchids are, well, Phalaenopsis orchids are epiphytes, and that means that they grow on trees and not in soil. And so they were used to being exposed to light and oxygen. So they actually perform optimally if they have good airflow and good oxygen flow. And when it looks like you have a nice circular shape and you're happy with it, then you can just tie it off and then you can either hang it from this right here or you can just set it in a bowl. And what I like to do is I have these nice little green bowls that I got. Just move this. Make it look pretty for you. And then give it time and it will grow a new flower spike and bloom and it'll be beautiful. And then you can just soak, just pour tepid water, just go to your sink and water it with tepid water. And Phalaenopsis orchids, they like to be slightly damp but not ever soggy. They don't have any water storage except for what's in their leaves and so their potting mix should never completely dry out. Give it plenty of light, bright but indirect light, and a few months of cooler temperatures, maybe low 70s, high 60s, and it will rebloom for you. So how easy is that? If you like this video, then be sure to like and subscribe.